Good morning. I'm taking my morning walk and I thought I would speak on my upcoming trip. So I well and my last one. So I went to Virginia Beach this weekend. It was definitely just a spur of the moment uh choice. Uh I went to visit family and it was lovely. It was lovely. I really enjoyed it. Um, hadn't been there in like 30 years, literally, um, or longer. Anyway, there's really not much to say about that, but just it was a destination that I enjoyed. They have horseback riding on their beach. So for Washington, D.C. area, there's basically two beaches, Virginia Beach and Ocean City, and they're both three hours away. So I always go to Ocean City because my family goes there once a year. Um, But one thing I noticed, I haven't been to Ocean City in a while, but Virginia Beach has horseback riding on the beach, which I love and intended to do and stayed an extra day so I could do it. But when the second day came, I was ready to go. I didn't feel like, you know, doing it. So I'm going to go back. Amtrak, I think their lowest train ride from D.C. to Norfolk, which is about a 15-minute drive from the beach, is $18. So that would be almost $40 round trip. So it will become a new destination for me. And I, I had already looked into that and being able to just catch the train down and then get a rental car as soon as I hit downtown Norfolk. Now, I was just down there. I didn't see rental car places. It's kind of sparse for it to be a downtown, but it's like a southern town. Um, But I'm sure there's one. You can catch an Uber or something to, to the car rental place and then hang out at the beach, have a weekend. Um, The hotel I stayed in, I got off hotel tonight. So Hotel Tonight is an app that I definitely use when traveling. I've gotten hotels in Florida, Phoenix. Um, I don't. I haven't used it abroad. I don't know if it works abroad. I have no idea. Uh, now Virginia Beach and a few other places. And what Hotel Tonight does is find you usually a reasonable rate. I can find hotels for less than $100 most times that are somewhat decent and i say somewhat decent because the two nastiest hotels i've stayed in in the past probably 20 years came through hotel tonight um so you know those cheap ones i think you need to go above maybe 100 120 to get a decent one i've gotten one in connecticut that was decent the connecticut and phoenix ones were nice but the uh in in down here in virginia beach it was you know it wasn't dirty but it was one of those hotels, I don't know, it's just like a hotel you only would stay in when you're like a college student you know just It's not a hotel, really. But they did have breakfast, little fruit, cereal, oatmeal. Um, Anyway, so that was Virginia Beach. But it was quaint. It was cute. The hotel we stayed in was in Portsmouth, which is right on the water. They have a ferry that will take you on the water to uh, Norfolk from Portsmouth. They have a little area. I have a friend from there and I was just on the phone with her. She said they're gentrifying, but it's still relatively untouched and tapped. There's a lot of history, American history. Um, so there's, that's that. So then this week I am headed to El Salvador. I cannot wait. And this trip I I chose simply, well, it's been on my list. So there's, in my travel groups, there are several places that are mentioned that people are going to. Most of my groups are for women, but that I have some that are men and women, and they are, they're going to, and they're showing pictures, and they're giving their report. It had a great time. You should go. I felt safe, blah, blah, blah. 
So I've been hearing about El Salvador and considering El Salvador for over a year, almost two years. And it was between El Salvador and Guatemala, and I ended up going to Guatemala last year, probably just because of the flight. I basically fly, I, I basically go wherever I can fly cheap. That's, that's, and that I'm interested in. It's places that I've heard about, that I'm interested in. I just want to go and see, like San Diego, I've never been. I found a flight the other day for $200. I didn't book the flight, and I doubt it's still $200, but I did reserve the Airbnb I was going to go. But I just, something told me, no, just wait on that. <clears throat> so anyway, so El Salvador has, you fly into San Salvador, San Salvador, you know, let me use my correct words, and, um, but there's an area called La Libertad that is like, that's where the beach is. There's a, it's called a Nawawi, Nawi Beach Club or something that everyone seems to go to, and I guess it's kind of like a party scene. I'm not going there, not interested. They have something called La Ruta de Flores that's supposedly really pretty and colorful. It's the route of flowers or the flower route, the flower route. I can't remember exactly what it is. I'm going to start looking this stuff up because now I have less than a week. I'm not packed. I don't have a lot of things well planned for what I'm going to do. But um, my Airbnb is really cute. It is. It has a nice balcony and it's down in La Libertad. So I'm thinking that it'll... I, I did ask the host, can I walk to things? So my biggest dilemma is transportation. I cannot get a good feel. Even though there's a lot of people that have gone and reported back about El Salvador, it's still not one of the higher travel places in the group. So there's not a lot of information. When I post and ask questions, I don't get a lot of responses. So I'm still a little bit murky on my travel within the country because I think La Libertad is almost like an hour from the airport. I know there's Ubers, and I was told that Ubers are cheap, so that's what I decided I was going to use, is Uber. Um, but, but then someone recently posted, like within the past week or two, and she just got back, and she hired a, a company. I got to go look that up, but she kind of was like, it's really expensive if you you know travel is very expensive and I'm like whoa oh uh oh because I'm a budget traveler <laughs> oh and you can catch the bus and I did catch a bus in Costa Rica so I can get off the at the airport and find the bus just like you would catch Greyhound in the U.S. and find the bus to La Libertad <clears throat> so I might do that but that's kind of my travel update. I don't post as much as I used to because, one, I need to edit and make the videos a little more, um, you know, with more information. Like, I would like to post the receipts and the names of the apps and the pictures of the apps. And I'm not doing that. I just don't have time. But I still am, my goal in posting these videos is really just to take out some of the guesswork for other people and also for me to create playlists of my research you know I, I look through all these videos and I do all this research and then I save them on YouTube and so then you can find them and you don't have to do as much searching it just depends on what kind of traveler you are what kind of information you're looking for but um, uh, but for me, I just like to hang out. You know, I don't want to do so much. I don't want to do like like the thing that everyone kind of maybe on Instagram has seen with El Salvador is the uh, this slide. There's this slide. I think it's really colorful, like a rainbow slide, and you use like a raft or something. And you go. I don't care about that. I'm not interested in that. I might do it, but I don't care about that. My goal always 
and I try to inspire other women, people, period, especially if you're a solo traveler, is to know that it's easy and cheap. Like I say, this is $150. You would spend that on a handbag. You may spend that on a massage or, you know, a (laughs) mani-pedi, okay? So that's the cost of a a trip to El Salvador, the flight. My Airbnb is no more than like $200. I made sure I got an inexpensive one because, as always, if I can't go for cheap, I can't go. Because my goal is always in one place where quantity matters over quality. Quantity over quality. I'd rather be in a plane every day, I mean every month, and just exploring different places than only having a really ritzy, nice, all-inclusive vacation experience. You know... (laughs) That's nice too. And I haven't done anything like that in a while, but I am fine with the level that I travel at. I do not stay in in dirty, nasty places. So like that one overnight, like I was just talking about in Virginia Beach, it was okay, it was clean. The pillows were great, so it's good for sleeping. They have food and it was just a place to rest your head for a night and get up and get back on the road. But, and, but other that, you know, and it wasn't like nasty. It just was, it wasn't, I don't know if that's called three star, just wasn't, it wasn't plush. But um, other than that, you know, all my Airbnbs have been great for these low prices. Um, So that's my update, quality, quantity over quality.